Monza is a unique aerodynamic challenge for the teams, as the drivers are at full throttle for 80% of the lap around the Temple of Speed. But how did the teams achieve the ideal balance between low drag and efficient downforce to maximise lap time? Welcome to the Apex Alphabet, a series where we debunk common terminology in F1. Let's get into R for rear wings in Monza. For the Italian Grand Prix weekend, teams are seeking to minimise drag by altering their front and rear wings. They'll set their rear wing at an angle that's almost horizontal to reduce its surface area and therefore its drag. But importantly, teams also have to maintain a certain level of downforce to allow them to carry as much speed as possible out of the few but still significant corners at Monza. But how this is done doesn't look the same for each team, as they have to consider their car's inherent properties that all factor into the car's overall aerodynamic efficiency. While each team up and down the pit lane has the same goal, to get downforce as low as possible while minimising drag and maximising maximizing pace, this is a trade-off, and some teams have to run more extreme wings than others to hit the sweet spot, but one team who can afford to do it differently is Red Bull. Given their strong top speed and extremely efficient car, Red Bull have had to make almost no changes to their car to adapt it to the characteristics of Monza. Max's rear wing appears almost identical to the one he ran in Zandvoort, suggesting that they feel they can run at maximum pace by having efficient downforce that doesn't induce too much drag. But naturally, in the search for perfection, teams can run experiments across the two cars, and Red Bull are no different. In FP1, Perez ran a modified medium downforce rear wing with a new gurney flap, whereas Max ran an unchanged specification. While Max was still fastest, the gap was smaller, but in FP2 their experiment continued and Perez ran a lower downforce wing, with Max now taking some features from Perez's FP1 wing onto his own. It will be up for the engineers to decide which rear wing brings the best performance overnight. Did you learn something new? Let us know in the comments, like this video if you enjoyed it, and of course subscribe to Apex for the latest in the F1 world.